Welcome one and all to the Brew Barons. My name is Deep Space Matt, and today I'm taking my most rage-filled employee up into the field for some anger management therapy, and stealing an abandoned pirate plane, as well as getting revenge on his former boss, seem like the best way to let off some steam. But will his explosive temper and this explosive plane get the better of me? Let's find out in the Brew Barons. All right, here we go with some more of the Brew Barons, and we have a to-do list to get to, so let's get right into it and continue. Specifically, we have only two more partner missions to get done, both of them with Goshko, and I believe the co-pilots are Claire and Marin, and once we have those, we will have all of the traits, all three traits for every single one of our employees, which is going to be great. The only thing we need is flight time for them, and hopefully I can get them done in this episode. Hello, Inspector. Uh, what do you have to say? Oh, hey there, Inspector. Um, nice to see you again. Can I get you a drink? Why, yes. I hope you have something a little better than last time. Didn't I already do this at the end of last episode? Let's give you a three-star vegetable cider. Thank you. Let's see how this tastes. Quite a good brew you have here. You show some promise. What's the latest news? A giant pirate plane is denying access to the airspace over Haver. I'm afraid their intentions will not be good. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we already talked to her about all of this. I think the game probably saved before we talked to her. All right, let's head over to the hangar here. And what I want to do, or what I don't want to do, is get to five stars. At least not just yet because I do know that the end game is at five stars, but I'm not exactly sure what that entails or how it starts. I don't know if once we get to five stars, the end game just begins or if we need to go to a mission marker, but just in case we are thrust into the end game without choice, I want to try and get both of these partner missions done first, which does mean holding off on turning in this caramel carrot rum, even though we have it brewed already, because I think we gain the most reputation or fame from turning in orders. And we have four days to complete this contract, so we're good. The sweet weed beer, though, we do need more ingredients to brew this. It was daco nuts, and I believe maybe even more sweet weed. So we can gather some ingredients for that, and then maybe take on one of these bosses. We have the plane division over here in Rostiv, and the airship division here on Vol'jin. Oh, and there's Daco Nuts on Vol'jin. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, we're going to fight the airship division here, grab some Daco Nuts, and that probably means we want a light class plane. Although, you know what? Let's just create a whole new plane. Let's go to the catalog and see if there's anything we haven't done yet. What do we got here? We got the compact frame. Minus 80% cargo weight, 0.5% boost power per unit of cargo, but we have less cargo capacity. Sure, we'll try that. For wings, we have the stealth wings. Pirate weapons are less accurate, but we get extra fuel consumption and more repair cost. Sure. Pontoons, coin detector, detects buried coins. We have less max health. I actually might not want this. No, let's see if there's a different one. Celebration of fireworks, earn fame. We don't want to be earning fame, so that's a no on that. And flyers also gives us fame, so we also don't want that. So we're going to stick with the pontoons we already have. The engine, we have the hybrid engine. Oh, this is the solar-powered engine. Engine power greatly diminished at night and in smog. Oh, does that count the dome? I'm pretty sure it's a smog dome. This could be bad for us. The wind-up engine, a strong engine that requires manual winding to start, minus 50% fuel consumption, significantly less powerful when unwound. Yeah, let's try that. Propeller. What do we got? A strong pull. Gives us less bolt damage. No, we're going up against pirates. We want more bolt damage. Air refuel. Mid-air refuel planes become available over open water while out of combat. Spilt fuel caused by nozzle damage will cost you. That sounds fun. Ooh, mid-air refuel. I'll probably crash, but <laughs> we'll try it. Equipment. We have the ingredient launcher, high damage, slow rate of fire. Each shot consumes a gopher, potato, apple, or free coconut. Not sure if I want that. Alcohol rounds. Launch bottles of brew that burst into a concussive ball of fire capable of hitting multiple targets 
consumes bottle of al bottles of alcohol from cargo, starting with the lowest quality. Ooh, this could be good. We have tons of low quality, low cost alcohol that we're not using at all. And we're not going to put it in our bar. Let's try this. Ornament. Do we have all the ornaments? Uh, no, we're missing the, uh, the tortoise. <laughs> the tortoise. Plus 60% quest time to complete, but we get more fuel consumption and more plane weight. I probably don't want this at the moment either. But we can get another paint swatch. What is next? Ooh, the chrome paints. Yes. Let's go build this up. So we have the compact frame. Ooh, that looks nice and sleek. I like that. Go to the wings. Stealth wings. Ooh, they're like, they're triangular. Oh, those look nice. Pontoons. We have the same old pontoons. Less damage received, less fuel capacity. Extra damage received. I think I want... Let's grab the less damage received one. Engine, we have the wind-up engine. Very nice. And propeller, we had the air refuel. Ornament, we'll probably stick with the usual highlighter because we need to grab some sweet weed. And the equipment, we had the alcohol rounds. That's right. All right, we're looking, we're looking great. We have minus 20% fuel capacity, but minus 40% fuel consumption. So we're probably good on that. Let us purchase this. Oh, we need a name. That's right. Uh, this is a smaller plane. So what's a smaller class? Small-ish class. Uh, we'll go with... Let's go with the Norway class. It's a good looking, good looking one. There we go. And we can grab our chrome paints. Where are they? Oh, <laughs> there it is. It is so shiny. Holy cow. We have chrome and tarnished chrome, both of which look practically the same let's go with the regular chrome and you know what? we're gonna chrome the whole thing out or do i want something Ooh, do i want something on the trim maybe Ooh, obsidian yeah let's go with that okay let's go chrome on the main and then obsidian on everything else uh oh, one more Propeller will be obsidian, an ornament, and we also need to get our decal going here. On the side, on the tail, bottom wing, upper wing, upper wing. There we go. And I think that's it. All right, purchase this. There we go. And we have our roster set. We have Goshko and Claire and oh, our forger. That's right. I had a lovely comment that reminded me that Irina, I think it was, yes, has a foraging trait. I was getting foraging confused with harvesting, but no, we want her as our forager for sure. All right. Uh, is that everything? Oh, no. Inventory. We need to get ammo for our alcohol launcher. Let's see. This is 35. This is 20 silver. 24. Anything less than 20? Probably not. Yeah, that's definitely the lowest. Bland apple cider. We are going to fill you up. Sure, we'll fill it up all the way. There we go. Okay, I think we are absolutely set. Let's get out here and get going. All right, let's get up into the air and... Oh, wait. Why won't my engine start? Oh, wind up. How do I... How do I wind up the engine? Um, Is it... Oh, is it space? Oh, there we go. Yeah, because it's up there like the torpedo, and you use space for the torpedo. How much do I have to wind this up? Oh, it's on the left by Claire, I see. All right, there we go. Excellent. And we need to head eastward. Let's go in this direction and probably do something that is not recommended with a newly minted plane or well any plane <laughs> at all and let's get under this bridge pull off a little stunt oh careful oh we got it oh we go under this bridge too excellent look at that and our target is right ahead of us and look at our plane oh it's so shiny it looks really nice it looks super sleek i like the look of this one 
All right, uh, let's head out and, oh no, the wind-up engine on the left, it depletes. So we're gonna have to wind up when it goes down. That's gonna be in the middle of combat. That's gonna be awful. Oh, and I should check the, the alcohol rounds. There they are. So just right click and there it goes. It explodes, very nice. It's got a bit of an arc as well. All right, let's boost on our way over here. And it's kind of nice that we have, we have the alcohol rounds, which uses our inventory, and then our regular bolt uses water. It's like having extra ammo, just in case we run out of one of them. All right, slow it down. Go to grab some water, switch to our water gun. And take this guy on. Oh, we need, we need to get the balloons. That's right. Okay, that's not the kind of balloon we want. Heads up. Watch for incoming fire. Oh jeez, what is this? Those grimy rats. I'm gonna make them regret coming here. Can't hold back. Those pirate scumbags. Alright, there's a balloon. Is it gonna hook onto us? There it goes. We should have a vent right below here somewhere. There it is. Oh no, the submarine is here too. I forgot. I spare no expense and join the fight. We got you this. Time. Okay, we need to take the submarine out first. Let's try these alcohol rounds. Now there's two of them at the same time. I don't think I can record notes quick enough. Things won't be so easy. I have extra vents this time. Oh jeez, we just This is going to cost us too much if I stick around. I am leaving. We just <laughs> Oh, these alcohol rounds are crazy. We just took out the submarine. It's gone. I'm gonna make them regret coming here. Oh, these alcohol rounds are amazing. I still got missiles on me, though. Evasive, evasive. Oh, jeez. Come on, come on, missiles. Okay, you're done. All right, we have two more vents. There's a vent right there and one on the other side. Oh, no, watch out. We need the other type of balloons. Where's the other balloons? Oh, we're getting hit. There's one. Oh, and we're right, right, one right there. Let's grab this one and try and get this vent, maybe, or maybe the vent on the other side. It's not a good at a good angle. All right, grab this balloon. Come on, hook me. Grapple. There you go. And where's this vent? It's somewhere over here. I don't think that was it. Oh, jeez. I can't see, can't see. Boost. Oh, we're gonna get hit. Careful. Okay, there it is. Okay, come on, balloon. Stay with me. Don't fall off yet. Got you. One more. Oh, no. Oh, no. The wind up. Gotta wind it up. Oh, faster, faster. <laughs> oh, that was awful. All right, boost up. Let's get some speed. Watch out. Oh, no, we got two. I did not want two. Keep our speed up. Grab this one. Watch out for cannon fire. All right, is that all your vents? I can't stand those pirate thugs. They make my blood boil. We've sustained moderate damage. Oh gosh, watch out. Watch out. Okay, there's another one there. We don't want to be dragging a balloon. Oh, that must have hurt. Never mind. Do we not get all the vents? Those grimy rats. I'm going to make them regret. Oh, we didn't get the one on this side. I thought we did. I guess not. Nope. It's right there. Okay, come on, balloon. Stay with me. Got you. Is that smoke coming from my mighty Zeppelin? Mm, no. That must be from that plane. 
All right, where where's your where's your front? There it is, right there. We're good. Oh gosh! Watch out! Watch out! Oh, there we go. All right, let's try this. Coming in. Grab our alcohol rounds. Oh, we got you! Look at that! Oh, these alcohol rounds are amazing. Oh man, one hit on each boss weak point, and they're gone. Even on the submarine, though. I don't know how, how many I fired at it, but <laughs> I think our alcohol rounds took multiple weak points out at a time. Okay, grab these. Where were the other ones? Right over here. Oh, how's our wind-up engine doing? Okay, still doing okay. And let's come in here. And it's an equipment as well. So we can pop these alcohol rounds on a heavy plane. That would be great because we would have more, more space. Oh, we don't have a lot of space no, now, though, do we? Let's grab some of this. Oh, wait. Can we use the alcohol rounds to collect materials or ingredients? Oh, we can. Look at that. It didn't get both trees. I was trying to get both trees. Okay, 10 Daco Nuts. I don't remember how much we need. Oh, there's a shipwreck there. Do I want the shipwreck? I don't think so. Let's grab a few more Daco Nuts. Oh, that one's used. We don't have much room left over. That's 20. I think that's enough. But we need some more sweet weed. We could always... We could transfer, right? Is there a, a shipyard here? There is, it looks like. We could transfer these materials so we can pick up some more. Or transfer these ingredients. But yeah, definitely having the alcohol rounds on a plane with a bigger inventory space our cargo hold will be a lot better. Oh, just cut everything. There we go. Come in here, we can repair as well. There we go. Repair. And sure, we'll refuel. Oh no, wait a minute. Let's not. Let's try and look for one of those mid-air refuel planes. We have enough fuel. We're good. And let us transfer all of our materials, all of our doco nuts. It will take a day, but I think we're okay. And then we want to transfer some of these just to give us some more space. Uh, I mean, we could transfer all of them. Maybe 20. It's going to cost us one gold and five silver. That's not too bad. Sure. Confirm that. We'll leave a little in our hold. And let's get... Oh, wait. I got a, the wind-up engine. I keep forgetting. So the wind-up engine gives us more power, right? I think it was... But we just have to keep winding it up. It's not too bad as far as engine goes. That negative, as long as you keep an eye on it. And we are almost complete for our partner mission, which is excellent. Let's go grab probably some sweet weed. We need the water bomb for this. And there's some... Wait, there's none over here. Is there on Vol'jin? No, it's vanilla reeds that are over here. But there is at our main island, our home island. All 
All right, and I think there's some like here and over here to the right as well. There's a shipwreck here. Oh yeah, right there and right here. All right, we're going way too fast though. Oh, we should have purchased the the heavy winch as well. All right, coming around. Let's try and right over there. line up some bombs. How do we do? We did awful. There's no way. We didn't get any of that. Oh, come on now. Unless those are already harvested. It's got the marker on them, though, so I'm assuming they're not. Let's try it again. Right there. And there. And there. Just drop a bunch of bombs. Okay, no, we got some that time. We just had awful aim the previous time. I uh, didn't get much, though. I don't think we got anything on that one, either. Let's try... Maybe we got better luck over at this other area. Let's just pick up some apples while we're on the way, too. Alright, where is the rest of this? Oh, I thought there was some... Oh no, over here. That's right. Alright, coming up. And line it up. I'm just going to drop a whole bunch. Hopefully we hit something. We hit something. that coming around I just fly directly wait a minute can we do we hurt ourselves if we drop the bomb while we are just parked on the water Pilot check. Fatigue level is minor. I don't know if we do Try something real quick. Let's test this out. Coming in. And just like right here. Oh no, we can't hit the Oh no, we can. Oh, that worked. <laughs> Did we collect more? There was just water everywhere. I didn't notice. Here, let's come over here. And it just slowly cruise on. Okay, we have 25 sweet weed. Drop a bomb. And we have 30. Oh, you can totally just sit here. And we're not taking any damage. We do rock our plane a bit. Oh. Was that not... Did that not get it? Okay, how about right now? That didn't get it either. Drop. Just drop. Just drop a bunch of bombs. Okay, that got some there. It's strange. Like, the, the bombs don't hit immediately. All right. We are at full capacity for both our inventory and our partner mission. So let's go see what this is all about. Uh, we're also almost down on our wind-up engine, too. Which I don't know if I want to be on the water. Let's just be close here. I don't know if the engine completely stops. It has significant less power. So is that enough to keep us in the air? Let's find out. Actually, we're awfully close, so we're just going to land. Hey, nice landing. That went well. Thank you.
Oh, it is a lot less power. Look at this. We're still going slower. Full power. 15 on the water. So we can't even take off at full power when we're not wound up. This will definitely make us crash. Ah, hello. I hope you don't mind that I let myself in. Could I have a word with you? Sure. Let me guess. You have another garbage plane you want to sell us. I haven't the slightest idea of what you mean. Now, as to why I'm here, I need help with a delivery. Not a brew delivery. Rather, a delivery of a plane. We're kind of busy, Hadwin. If you want our help, best you make it worth our time. And that I shall. There's an abandoned plane near one of the neighboring islands. It looks to be in working condition. I just need it flown over here to our city where I can then take ownership. That seems easy enough, though why ask us? Why not just have it towed over here? I tried that already, but they wouldn't accept. For you see, this isn't your typical ordinary plane. It's a pirate gunship. No way, buddy. That's asking for trouble. Go ask someone else. Hold on. Let's not rush things here. Why do you want this plane? For resale, of course. I have a client that collects odd and unique planes, and I have little doubt he'd pass this one up. Well, I recommend you go find someone else because I'm not interested. I swore I'd never crawl into one of those greasy gunships ever again. Oh, please don't make me beg. There's a limited amount of time before the pirates reclaim their abandoned plane. We need to act soon. Yeah, and if we steal it, that's one less plane that they have. He has a point. If we just sit back, that plane will eventually go back into the hands of the pirates. But if we can secure it first, that's one less plane in their fleet. Goiko, do you still remember how to operate those planes? That's exactly what I'm saying, and apparently his name is pronounced Goiko. Yes, but I told you I'm not going to touch it. Those pirates and I, we go way back. Those were dark days that I've been trying to put behind me. Well then, how about you come instruct me how to fly it? You're the only one who knows how, plus your assistance in this would help reduce their fleet. You really know how to twist one's arm, don't you, Claire? Fine. But I'm not doing this so you can pad your pockets, Hadwin. Oh, spectacular. I marked the location of the plane on your map. I'll be watching the horizon and waiting for your arrival. Best of luck. Let's hurry now. Alright, fly to Haver and enter the mission marker. Wait, wasn't there a pirate airship or plane supposed to be at Haver that the inspector told us about? There's nobody at Haver right now. Oh, but we have somebody at Lockavie. The ship division is over at Lockavie. Which with the alcohol rounds is going to be super easy. The submarine, now we don't need the torpedo plane for the submarine. We can just use the alcohol rounds. Okay, let us come in here and transfer everything and do we need to repair we do not but we can yeah let's refuel i didn't see a plane as we were headed back but we're going to be using some fuel anyway and i think beyond that we're all good let's go to haver and steal ourselves a pirate gunship do we get to keep this Do we get a, a pirate gunship added to our roster? Uh, there we go. Wound up. And headed out. So we're heading, what, southwest is where Haver is? Where is it? There it is. Oh, where's this pirate plane, too? I guess we need the mission marker. We're at 500 meters. Uh, where is this mission marker? Oh, is that it right there? I spotted something. That's right it. There. It is right next to the shore. Um, geez. Can we just fly through it? Will it activate? Or do we have to land? Ugh. I think we have to land. Oh, we'll grab this bottle, though. Let's 
fried potato beer. All right, slow it down. Just cut everything. There we go. And don't crash, don't crash into the island. Just take it nice and slow. Oh, look at the plane. Look at that right there. Oh, that looks great. Cut. Tadwin was right about the pirate plane, though I question his definition of working condition. It looks a bit sketchy. I don't like this one bit. I'm tempted to just sink it in the ocean. Let's save that for plan B if we can't get it started. All right. You'll want to jump out and inspect the engine. It needs to be primed and cranked to start. It might take a couple tries. These smog engines are stubborn. Once started, you gotta take off as soon as you can, or it'll overheat. Anyways, I'll walk you through it. First, you'll want to open the engine cover. Oh, okay. Uh, open? How do I open this? Press input to open engine cover. What's input? E? Oh, wait, space? Okay, there we go. Space is input. There's a round red handle. You'll want to tap to plunge and prime the engine a few times. Get the needle pointing in the green zone. Press input to prime engine. Okay, there we go. Next, spin up the flywheel with the hand crank. You can do this by holding down the input. Listen carefully to the pitch as you crank. When the sound peaks, double tap the input to start the engine. Hold input to crank handle, double tap to start. Oh, look at that, okay. When the sound peaks? There. Oh, double tap. Oh, nope, that did not do it. Ignition didn't catch. Give it another try. Uh, oh, we gotta, we gotta prime it again. <laughs> it's like, uh, this plane is like, got a lawnmower engine. There we go. Crank it. There. Double tap. Hey, there we go. Easy on the elevator, heavy on the throttle. Oh man. Before you head back to Valet, let's make sure it can gain altitude. Follow the rings up. Okay, here we go. Power up. Oh look, there's our plane right there. Oh, we're getting speed fast. Uh, the engine is starting to make some weird sounds. I hear a rattle and small pops. It might just be a loose rocker. No matter. Let Hadwin deal with it. All right, there we go. Oh, jeez. Whoa, did you see that? There was an explosion. I think it came from the engine. Valves might be flooding and backfiring. You're okay for now, but that engine won't last. Oh no, look at our, look at the wings too. They're all shot up. Hold it together and keep heading towards the city. I'll do my best. These explosions are really pushing the plane around. Oh gosh. Um, okay. Oh, no. Oh, no. They really pushed the plane around. Okay. And we have no boost, either. Alright. Uh, gain altitude? Gain some altitude. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Back here. There we go. I don't want to crash. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. Turn, turn, turn. Okay, we're good. Roll. Oh! It's crazy. Oh, what is that? The boost? The booster is randomly igniting. I don't think this plane is gonna last. Okay. Oh, this is crazy. The plane looks awesome, though. Oh, no! Um. Okay, we're good. I was just taking a look at you. Uh, wait a minute. Oh, look at this. If I have it in like camera mode, free camera mode here, it'll explode, it'll boost, but the plane like writes itself automatically at the end of it. 
as long as I don't actually take control of the plane. Oh, that's not good. Oh no, it's good. Okay. This is hilarious. Okay, as long as I just stay in this free cam mode, I think we're fine. We have enough altitude that I don't worry about crashing. Oh gosh. But I do want, I need to get down. How am I gonna land when it's doing this every few seconds? All right, maybe I need to take control and lose some altitude. We are continuing, continually to go higher and higher. Okay, let's uh, let's lose some altitude now. Actually, try and con oh geez, try and control this a little better. Nope, nope, nope. Easy, easy. Nope. Turn. Roll. Roll. Roll with me here. We're gonna have to try and park this somehow. All right, this is a good height, I think, right around here. Fly the pirate plane to the city waypoint. Okay, we're not exploding right now. That's good. Oh no. The engine is now dead. I'm gonna try to glide it back into town. Such junk. All right, try and reach the city and touch down as close as you can to the waypoint. Well, at least we're not exploding anymore. Oh, I can totally make it. Maybe. We're losing we're losing speed quickly. I just need to get to this red or not red, this green this green area. We're good, we're good. Up, up, up. Look there. At that. I knew I could trust you, Barons. Oh, the engine looks pretty well dead, but I'll let that slide. Could I get you to tow it into my dock? No way. Do it yourself. I never want to fly one of these things again. See, I told you they're nothing but trouble. Though how in the world you kept the plane together with those explosions is beyond me. I think some of my old military training took over. Deflective techniques to minimize damage caused by explosions. I was able to apply a few lessons here. Well, I'm glad you made it out alive. And thanks for convincing me. You were right, we needed to do this. I know you're still struggling with your past, but what's done is done, right? All you can do is try to make the right choices going forward. I think this was one of them. Now, Hadwin, how about that reward? Here we go. Survival training. Heavy pirate armaments have a chance of causing no damage. Oh, that's great. The giant cannons that we face. And Goiko, honor driven, putting in extra effort, doubles output when foraging. Wait, doubles output when foraging. So you're, you have another foraging trait. But you still have your negative trait going. We gain some money. Oh. Oh, that's right. We <laughs> we need to be uh, back in our regular plane. I completely forgot. Wait, do we not have... Oh, I guess we don't have the pirate plane because Hadwin took it. Oh, that's unfortunate. I thought we were going to get a new plane. Okay, let's go and we need to switch out our roster right now. All right, let's come up here and set our co-pilot to be Marin. If you insist. There we go. And, oh no, wait, we want Marin to be the pilot, actually. Okay, as you request. Because Goiko is getting fatigued. So we want to save him. There we go. And our brewer is going to be Keften. He's our backup brewer, since he does have a brewing trait. Yeah, he gives greater yields. Oh, and they already have some flight time together. That is excellent. Let's see what we can do to get the rest of it. We can probably come up here to Lock V and take out this battleship. In my opinion, the battleship is the easiest of the bosses. And then also search around for the refuel planes and see how that works. We do need to go in our inventory and grab our alcoholic ammunition. Where is it? There it is. Bland apple cider. We have 18. Is that enough? I mean, it probably is. However... Unless 
the battleship brings a friend along. And if we get hit, we're going to be losing some of this. So let's put in let's put in some more. Where's that 24? There it is. Crisp prickly lager. We're just going to load it on up just in case. All right, excellent. I think we are good. Let's head on out. And get our wind-up engine going. We need to head north. And yeah, Goiko is down to 39 for his fatigue. There's Lockvi. Now I think it says the refuel planes are over open water. As long as we're not in combat. So let's come out here and slow down and take a look around. There's something there's something right here. Uh at least I thought there was. It's disappeared now. Maybe it was a a whale in the distance? No, there's definitely something there. I don't know if you can see it on YouTube. It's awfully small, but I can see it on my screen. It looks like a plane, and it's not blinking like the mission planes are over there by Bulky on the right. So this might be it. Where is it? Where'd it, where'd it go? Oh, no, I've lost it. Oh, wait, it's right there. Oh, it is. Okay, let us slow down. I don't know how fast we need to be going. Oh yeah, look at that. It's trailing. It's trailing a hose. Alright, come back around. Oh, hello, whale. Alright, are we, are we gaining on it? Oh, it's midnight. We have a new contract and our transfer is complete. I think we're gaining on it. So we have to attach our propeller to this? Oh man, we're gonna crash, aren't we? Am I getting closer? It looks like I'm getting closer. Is it turning? Oh, it's turning. No, why are you turning right now? Don't do that. Okay, hold on. Maybe we can use this to close the gap a little bit. Speed up a little, maybe? Oh, nope, too much. Alright, come on, level out, my friend. Oh, we have an arm, an arm extended. Oh, look at that, okay. Here we go. We're at 74. I think we need to be faster. Yeah, it's, it's gaining on us. We're at around 90. Slow down a little bit. 91. We've reached an island. All right, I think we're good. Careful. Eighty-six, maybe a little bit faster. Come on, easy. Oh, it's moving around. Don't turn, plane. Please don't turn. Where is it? Where is it? No, up, up. Oh, there. We got it. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is great. Look at that. We're connected. Oh, you're going to turn, aren't you? Okay, slow down. Can I disconnect? How do you disconnect? Hey! That is really fun. <laughs> that is really fun. I don't know how practical it is. You know, it's probably easier just to land somewhere and refuel at like a shipyard. But that is really cool. Okay, let's head over here. Is this Lockvie? That is indeed Lockvie. I can see the smoke from the battleship. Come down here, grab some more water. It'd be nice if the 
the refuel planes were on the map? I don't think they are. Hold on. No, they are. They are not. It'd be nice if they were there, because they are kind of hard to see at night. I barely saw that when we were flying out. The mission planes are okay because they're they blink like crazy. Or maybe a maybe the refuel planes could blink, but just a different color. That would help as well. All right, uh, let's get some boost on. Get our alcohol rounds ready to go. Oh wait, where's our where's our um, wind up engine? It's almost gone. So let's come in here. And be ready to wind up the engine. But we should be able to take out this battleship fairly quickly. Alright, where are you? Where is... You're facing away from me? Okay. Alcohol round? Oh, grab this. Wind up. Alcohol round. Yep, that's what we're doing. Was, were you close enough to hit the battleship? You were not. Maybe you are now? I don't think so. We gotta hit you again. Oh, jeez, what just happened? Oh! Oh, the submarine's here again. Okay, no worries, though. Where are you? Oh, you're over there. All right, I'm coming after you first. Oh, mission plane, not right now. I'm a little busy. I'm a little busy trying to avoid missiles. Evasive? Oh, not enough. We're good, though. We're good. Oh, I didn't get you in one go. Evasive, evasive. All right, sub, where are you? Oh, you're way over there. I see you. All right, uh, watch out for missiles. And what parts do I need to get you? On the sides here, do this. Got you. Oh no! Boost, boost. Watch out for these missiles. Alright, coming around. Let's get this guy. Two more missiles. I can't get this this last little boat to be close enough. Oh, there you are. Look out, the is stuck. Got you. Oh, but you didn't hit it. Let's try it again. Good hit. Keep it up. No, not yet. Oh, there you go. Something over where? Uh, there's a bottle out here. Is that what you're talking about? And a lot of materials that we got to pick up from that battle. We took like a barely any damage from that. Oh, this is not a bottle. These are more materials. 
I think that's a bottle. Definitely. I've spotted something over there. And there's the mission plane. I wonder. We can grab a mission. I wonder if we get a burning ship mission and use the alcohol <laughs> rounds. That sounds like a bad idea. But I'm curious of whether the game just counts it as damage. And doesn't care that... Uh, we're firing Molotovs onto a burning ship. Come over here, plane. Give me a burning ship, please. Copper beak, it's a Barons. There's a burning ship in the area. Can you lend a hand? Haha, oh. <laughs> excellent. I can lend some bottles of explosive liquid, is <laughs> what I can do. Oh man, imagine this boat. They're calling an SOS and the civilian plane radios to them. Don't worry, the Brew Barons are on their way. They've helped tons of other burning ships as well. And all of a sudden, I'm, drop I'm dropping Molotovs on them. Let's see if this works. Can I get you from here? Oh, I can. I get a damage marker. Oh! <laughs> it worked. That is great. And look at that, just two shots, too. I remember before, almost running out of time, trying to get our regular bolt gun to do it. I've spotted something over there. Yep, I saw it, but I wanted these materials instead. As well as these materials. And we're almost good. Oh, jeez. Wind up, wind up. Interesting, now it said space on the wind-up engine at the top, but the first time I tried it, it didn't have that at all. Oh, wait a minute. We're full up on our inventory. We're just wasting these materials. They don't go anywhere, it looks like. Okay, never mind on that. Uh, let us head back home. And see what this final... This final mission, there's a crate over there. I don't really need the money from the crate, though. We are flush with cash. Grab that. Oh, I well, I was not low enough for that. I honestly don't mind anymore now that we can purchase recipes over at the floating markets. All right, here we go into the daylight. Oh, why am I... Why do I continuously lose my boost point? That's weird. Can I boost on something else? I have no clue what's going on. But we're still traveling fairly quickly. Try this again. Oh, well, we're out of water now, so that makes sense. All right, Marin is down. Oh, jeez. I was looking. I was too busy looking at their fatigue. Marin is at 52. Goiko now at 34. Can we get a consistent boost? Now we can. Pilot check. You're slightly fatigued, but you seem okay. All right. Ooh, slow it down a lot. Slow it down a lot. Too much. We'll have to make another pass. There we go. Goiko, you okay, pal? You look a little more annoyed than usual. Yeah, something's been riding my mind. 
Wait, what do you mean more than usual? Ah, um, well, whatever it is that's bugging you, I suggest you just ignore it and suppress those annoyed feelings. That doesn't sound like a good idea. Try and push it down so deep and forget about it for as long as you can, until it inevitably resurfaces in the form of a midlife crisis. You know, like the rest of us do. Hmph. <laughs> oh, come on. Just making a playful jab, trying to cheer you up. What's got you ticked? Word has been going around. Those pirates, Black Tongue, and his wingmen, they've been talking about me, besmirching my name. Ah, oh, I see. Because you once flew among them. They must be upset now that you oppose them under the banner of the Brew Barons. Maybe. Or perhaps they're trying to make an example. You know, like, make a mockery of my name so their pilots don't follow in my footsteps and leave. Either way, I'm no longer their pawn. I've cut my ties with that lifestyle. I don't need them slandering my name. That's a tricky situation indeed, my friend. Um, maybe you can offset the tide. Do a bunch of charitable acts in your name and boost your image. That seems to work for grimy politicians. Hmm, that would take too long. Besides, this ain't just about my reputation. If I just sit idle and let them ridicule me for leaving, there'd be little chance of those wingmen ever giving up their criminal lifestyle. I'm gonna go humiliate that black tongue in front of his crew. Let's go find where that bastard is patrolling. You got my back? Oh, um, how about we just send him a sternly written letter? Enough with the jokes, let's go. But that wasn't a j- <sighs> Oh, here we go. Fly to the mission marker. We need to take on a Black Tongue. Apparently, where's the mission marker? Oh, right here where we are. Okay, Black Tongue is the plane, I believe. So we want to have... Oh, I didn't even look at the pending contracts. Prickly wheat beer, sea pickle cider, no problem. We want to take our galaxy class. Yeah, with the, with the auto turret. Because that one is great at taking on the plane. Oh, we got to be fully repaired. Let's do this. And might as well refuel. And the equipment we have here, we have the reserve tank for a better fill rate. Do I just want, do I want to go straight to the... Uh, Straight. Oh no, we can't. The equipment. Oh, the equipment is specific to light planes and heavy planes. Oh, I thought it was like the ornaments where it's available for both. It is not. Okay, well then, yes, we want to keep with the reserve tank if that is the case. And uh, yeah, I think we're all good. Let's. Oh, we need to transfer. Or we don't need to transfer. Oh, it was just telling us we had the transfer. Okay, I see. Let us head out. And do this very last mission. Exciting. Uh, power up. I, I was about to uh, press the space, space bar for the windup. Don't need that on this one. I will do that as soon as possible. Where is it? Uh, over here. The plane division. Oh, the plane division is no longer on Rastiv. Do they move over here? And Boonich got the submarine division. We'll get to them eventually. Right now, we're doing this. Swap pilots. Oh no, he's at 33. All right, let's do it. Fly to Pokip. Oh, Pokip is close. Here it is. Right around there, I can barely see it. Get a good boost going. Hope our fatigue holds up. Is he here? Oh yeah, there he is, I see him. Okay, grab some water. We're at 1, meters. 500 meters. Near 
I wonder if he'll do the dome. Oh, never mind. There it is. That was kind of funny when they were You're starting to turn red. Don't let them get to you. Oh jeez. Careful, careful. When they were doing the You're um you're like a really, really stupid pilot and stuff. When they were doing the dialogue. It was uh Not always the right uh, portrait down there. I'm not gonna let these thugs walk all over me. It's amazing, such an awful pilot was able to damage my plane. Shut your mouth, you filth. Goiko, your anger is only making this worse. Quiet. Oh, careful. Oh, we can't get close enough. Get closer. How do I get these... How do I get these bottom ones done? I don't remember. Oh, they're on the tail. Is that where it's at? It's connected... Where is it connected to? Back here? Turn around, turn around. And come back up. Oh, watch out. I thought we just had to grab this thing on the top. Maybe I was wrong? The one on the top, oh geez. Doesn't seem to be working the ones on the bottom. So there's a different way to grab the ones on the bottom. Oh, watch out, watch out. Nope, 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 nope. I think maybe... Let me try this. Take one of these guys out. It looks like it's attached to the hangar bay. So maybe if we take one of these pirates out. And they have to go dock. Maybe that will leave it open. We need water, though. Come back up. Successful hit. There we go. We're getting it. Excellent. Yeah, that's what we needed to do. We needed to open the the doors. Got you. We got him, we got him. You're gonna get us both killed if you keep this up. This is ridiculous. Once a pirate, always a pirate. It's like you're in a trance. Not even listening. What what did you just say? You heard me. All this anger. Sounds exactly how a pirate would act. How dare you? I Losing my head ain't gonna help. Gotta focus. Uh, we got them. Are we? Are we good? They're gone. Fly to poke up and defeat Black Tongue. Oh, there we go. Go on then, run. I recommend you quit slandering my name, or I'll come wallop you again. I think they learned their lesson. 
You got pretty heated back there. Glad to see you pulled through. Just barely. Those criminals boil my blood, though I snapped out of it thanks to what you said. Sorry if it came off as harsh. I had to say something before things got out of hand. Well, there's some truth to it. I've been hanging on to my anger for too long. I was once a pirate. I hate that fact, but I can't let that get in the way of becoming a better person. I'm gonna try to keep things cool from now on. Funny. Normally, you're a nervous wreck in combat. This time you stayed pretty calm, all things considered. Huh. So I did, didn't I? Maybe all this pirate squabbling toughened me up. Who knows? Maybe I'm destined to become a masterclass fighter pilot. A fighter pilot? Ha. Normally your jokes fall flat, but that one was amusing. All right, here we go. Trait removed, blinding rage, and now we have focused rage, prevents effects of of pirate smog. That's great. And panic attack is gone, and now we have calculated assault. Consecutive hits on a pirate over a short duration will grant a small water refill. Very nice. Oh, up, up, up. <laughs> I couldn't see my plane for a second there. I just hit the up elevator real quick. All right, and that's it. Oh, Goiko is down to 13. Can we swap pilots real quick? Just cut it. I don't trust that he's going to be able to get home. All right. Uh, anchors away. Almost. Oh, wait. Maybe if I just turn off the engine. Are we here? There we go. Uh, swap pilots. Excellent. I guess I could rest as well. But this works just fine. We are headed back and we are completely done. That is all of the partner missions done, sort of side missions as they are. And we are almost to the five stars to see what the end game looks like. I'm wondering what it's going to be. I mean, it could be just that all six of the bosses invade a different island at once and we have to fight them off. That'd be kind of boring though. Hopefully it's something different. I mean, maybe we find, like, the pirate base, wherever they're coming from. Kind of like the cave mission, where we got teleported to the cave. We get teleported to another island, and they have the big old pirate base, and we have to bomb it. Or, or they have a submersible base, and we have it come out of the water like a giant man-made island. And it's got missile launchers and cannons. I'm, I'm going crazy with the speculation here. Uh, but we're going to have to find out next time, because we're over an hour. So that's going to do it for this episode Probably next time, I'm just going to deliver the contract that we already have brewed, and that should get us to the five star, and we can find out what the end game is all about. I'm excited about this. Uh, we will have to swap our pilot and co-pilot out for sure. That was well executed. Good landing. Why, thank you. All right, here we are, the calm before the storm. Jeez, you kids really did a number on the plane. I guess it's up to me to fix it now. Yeah, sorry about that. And whatever's going to happen next, you're going to have to fix that as well. But once again, this has been the Brew Barons. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching.